Continuing to update you tonight on a story we brought you a few weeks ago. The driver of the U-Haul that had 14 people in the back was in court today. Shaikim Bristol and Musa Omar are facing several counts of child endangerment after Highway Patrol found women and children in the back of the truck during a traffic stop on I-44 in Webster County. Color 10's Carissa Codell is live outside the Webster County Justice Center tonight. And Carissa, you sat in on court hearings today. Yeah, that's right, Bailey. Today, Bristol was here at the Justice Center before a judge who set a high bond. He said partially because Bristol does not have any ties to the area. These are folks that uh, have uh, no home base. Their home base uh, prior to coming through Missouri was in Buffalo, New York. They have no local connections, and so uh, that uh, lends itself to high risk of flight. For Bristol, bond was set at $250,000. If he posts bond, he'll have to wear a GPS device and is not allowed around children. Omar requested a change of judge, so he did not have a bond hearing today. According to court documents, the back of the U-Haul truck did not have any light or air conditioning when it was pulled over by Highway Patrol troopers on September 29th. There was trash, clothes, and food containers. There were seven children in the back between the ages of 2 and 13. The Webster County prosecutor tells me the children are in state custody and the five women in the truck have either left the state to be with family or are still in the area. Highway Patrol told us that before the people involved were in the country legally. The two suspects are not from Missouri and told troopers they were traveling from Arizona to New York. We ask uh, for the uh, investigations division of the Highway Patrol, the DDCC, to investigate uh, this circumstance because uh, there were some indicators that this may be trafficking, but I don't have anything back yet with regard to that investigation. And Bristol's preliminary hearing is scheduled in December. Reporting live in Webster County, I'm Carissa Codell, Color 10 News.